Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I said on the GoPro earlier, I was gonna start my video whenever we caught the first fish. Greg just hooked up on a two pounder and look where we're fishing at, this little small creek, guys. It's kind of crazy. We're starting to we're starting to turn into like a little creek fishing channel, I feel like. We're just fishing small bodies of water and pulling big fish out of it. Last time we did this, we were at the golf course pond, and the golf course pond, of course, is a little bit bigger than this, but it's still like a small creek. But Greg just hooked up on like a legit two-pounder back here, so let's go. Let's go check him out. There's all types of like little small bait fish in here, but never would have thought a bass of this size at least would be back in here. 7.59 a.m. What you do that boy? No, sir, nothing yet. How about you? One bass? Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate the tip. Try not to. Yeah, the first one on the crankbait though. Guys, I was trying to, I wanted to do a new thing for today's video and start the video off with the fish. You know, I wasn't gonna say a word. It's gonna be like a silent video until I caught a fish. That was the first one just came off on the crankbait. I'm thinking we fish the crankbait for a couple more minutes and then probably switch to like a black and blue worm. But today, what me and Greg are gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a little bit of pond hop. Kind of going off of spots that we've seen driving to different places and I might have to let you go through this one. You're not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I'm not feeling this one too tough. So, I mean, we haven't really caught anything in here. But, I mean, then again, there could be a chance that all the fish are on the other side. What do you think? I just feel like it's a kind of long walk for a small return, small little pocket. Yeah. What do you want to do next pond? Keep fishing here? All right. Huh? Is it big? Yes. How big? Three pounds. It took my worm. Ooh, bro, that just gave me a whole heart attack. And I got it off here. <laughs> you didn't hear me on that? Bro, I'm pretty sure the people in the neighborhood heard you, bro. Go over here and see if it's still here. Oh, I do. You got me. Where's it at? I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. I was going to pull the worm out of the water and just. <clears throat> I seen it swim off with the worm in his mouth. I thought it broke me off with the worm. Over here in the shade? Yes, I was. I threw it out. It came. It, it ate right here, and it swam back up in the nest somewhere. It was like a legit three pound, maybe two. I really didn't see it. It was huge though. I was pulling it right here. It swam back over there somewhere. And I was casting it. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh snap! That's a good one. Here, here, here. Go, just go over and raise it over here. Got him. That's a, that's a decent bag. <laughs> hey, what the world, dude? Bro, how? What? How? That doesn't make no sense at all. What? Guys, I just caught a bass. Dude, that's out a, of a three inch puddle. That's a two pounder. That's a two pound bass. What? I wish we had a puddle. To, I wish we had a bucket to take this. I thing. thought you were about to say a puddle detector. <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, if this is a creek, I don't know if this is going to dry up, you know? I say we walk down. It's another little... I'm going to go grab my camera. If I can get this worm, I'm stuck. Cast back in there and see if we double up. Yeah, so it just... <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I just bounced it and you just came right over. I was not expecting that. That's pretty cool, dude. That's 
pretty sure. I think we can get another one. We got another little pocket of creek. Yeah. I still can't believe that. He doesn't want to keep his mouth open. He's going right there. Are you walking on down? If you're going down, I'm gonna let you lead the way. You make a good little fence, guys. I can hear the excitement in your voice, literally. Let me see it. Oh, snap. Yeah. I mean, that's still this a- That's what you probably would expect to catch somebody. Yeah, here. out of here. I'm gonna get a little cash back oh, in there. Oh. I know what I have to do. Oh! Dude, this... Oh my God, dude, that was a big one. That was a big one. No, you take you take it. You're, you you oh, cash. You yeah, dude, that, was, that was a big one. Did you see it? I seen how you was running with it. Dude, that was that was like probably could have been like a I don't know. I've never that's probably the hardest pull I felt this month. Even trunk yeah, hooks, river? huh? Even yeah, that like river? that was like, I mean bass wise, dude, that was a big fish, no doubt. You mind. I like to get yeah, come on. Honestly, that could have not been a bass. Also, though. I don't know. I haven't caught enough other types of fish. In the creek. Yeah. Do we go retie? Go get the hooks and come back. Come back. All right, guys. So I just broke off on. I just broke off on that fish. I'm shaking. <laughs> that fish was probably easily every bit of four, maybe five pounds. Greg just broke off on a stick, you say. But guys, I think that fish that I just broke off on was bigger than the one Greg caught. Like that very well could be like a five, six pound bass. I have no clue. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back up here, grab some hooks, maybe grab a Ned rig, and then come back and try to maybe see if we can't get on a couple more normally if we both break off on the fish it's kind of like and eh, we should go on to the next spot but the one that i just broke off on and greg just caught a three out of this little bitty pocket of water i think it's definitely worth trying to go back so fish down here and then go up there because i mean there's fish in here that very well could be fish over there too and then we could just if we could catch a couple out of here this would be cool well guys i got fish number one camera wasn't on for it i was throwing the little four inch black stick worm then i switched to the bigger six inch and kind of like the complete opposite of what you would think would happen happened and we caught a we caught a little one and this body of water is it's tiny guys it's really small but the max scent six inch general got it done it's fish number one smells like a bass see you later see if we can't get another one that was first cast three days later yo what's going on guys welcome back to another video we are in a place today that we have most definitely been to before we've been here twice before and guys both times that we have been here we have hooked up on either a really big shoal bass a really big spotted bass something it's on down this creek we're fishing a small little body of water today a little creek the whole mission is to try to catch this big fish if it's still in here because i know people that fish in here they probably take fish out so hopefully he's still here yeah guys so pretty much today what we're going to be trying to do is get on that fish today's probably going to be like a pretty big soft plastic day all right guys so we, I don't know if we should start off with the little Ned Rig or the black and blue flute one. This is all. Uh, let's start off with the Ned Rig. I feel like with the Ned Rig, we could like catch about anything because I know there's some, probably, there's probably some like, ooh, is that already a bite? There's probably some big green sunfish in here. Oh. There's one. Oh, first cast, baby. First cast on the black, what? First cast on the black four inch general, baby. Let's go. This max scent general, guys, I'm telling you. First cast, baby. Doesn't get much better than that. Just wait until we get like the real Ned Rig stuff in. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be over with for these fish. Look at that, first fish on the little Ned Rig. We're really liable to catch like a hundred of these today on this Ned Rig stuff. I'm gonna sit this down. I'm gonna show y'all him on the big camera. I love creek fish because they're just so, they're so aggressive and pretty. All right, guys, fish number one. He's a small one, but super pretty. I love these creek fish because they're always like just super like pretty lateral line, pretty colors on them every time. So now we're just trying to upgrade from here. We're trying to get, I think we should be content. We could be content like a two, three pounder out of here. I'm sure there's probably a lot more if we catch him on the first cast, so. All right, see you later. 
Mr. Thomas, look, he went straight down and went right back into the water. He was like, I didn't think I was gonna make it out of here today. All right, guys, a little side hack you can do with these. It's like really any worm, if it's long enough with the Ned Rig, it's always gonna be long enough. But you see how the plastic just ripped all through here? What I do, you just take it, put it in your mouth. This is max sense, so it's a little nasty. Don't put your tongue on it, but you just bite it off. Bite that little rip part off, slide it back on there. And that way you get more use out of your plastics because you know soft plastic can be expensive and it just gets smaller smaller presentation with the ned rig it's not gonna hurt nothing you know oh look we already got one coming to look at it really i could probably drop this in between these little rock cracks right here i'm not sure if you can see them one will probably come out and eat it oh there's a little one all right let's see if we can't get on fish number two That was kind of cool. I was I was expecting to catch one. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna say I was expecting to catch one first cast. So that's always nice having a first cast fish. One thing I love about Maxin is like there's never any debate with it. It's always just like yeah, I want it. You know, normally if you feel a fish and your feet, normally if you feel the fish, it has it. Like you don't really have to wait. Oh, there was another one. He was running with it. Oh man, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slowly starting to like really enjoy fishing a Ned Rig. Like it's slowly starting to become one of those lures for me that just the number. Oh, there was a nice little pool. Well guys, spot number one has delivered us one fish, one big mouth bass, small big mouth bass, but still count. So we're gonna keep on pushing, see if we can't find some more. I kind of wish I knew what they were because they look, they almost like shad, but I doubt if there are shad in here. Oh, there's one. There we go, there's one. Oh, he came off. I didn't want to set the hook on him because I didn't want to like snatch it out of his mouth. I wasn't sure how good he had it. There we go. There's a small one. There we go. We got ourselves another one. What is that? Um, I have no clue what that is. Somebody might have to help me identify this one. I know it's some form of bass, but I mean, this is a little spot. Yeah little spotted bass how about that on our little four inch wacky rig general i mean ned rig general got them through the eye best way to get them oh, sorry all right check that out little small small little spotted bass see you later have a good time oh dude this little thing is so cool like little Ned rigs are, these are really revolutionary. Whoever invented the Ned rig really needs a raise. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't get another one on this before we have to switch. Actually, I think I left my pack of black ones in the truck. I might need to go grab those. Huzzah. I left my pack of black ones in the truck. All I have is these, the watermelon copper, orange, and red, which I think they could do pretty good in this water color they'll definitely stand out so the fish can see them but i mean we're not really having any problems with the black i'd rather switch or stay with the black right now and then like when i come back through then switch to the other ones but let's see if we can't get a couple more bites because over there we had that first bite then it kind of died down so let's see if maybe these fish over here are a little bit more loving for us Guys, I honestly think that this might be my favorite type of fish. And even though it's not like really, really rural, I really like just being able to walk through the woods, missing tree limbs, stuff like that, and being able just to like walk and find a new fishing spot. So basically what I would do, I was just casting in that water right there and just letting it float down. And I was getting bit. I got bit like the first three times I did. So hopefully that same thing works right here today. 